Okay, a couple little updates uh, and stuff that I've done to Old Green and some stuff that some people may be curious about. Okay, I put, of course, you can see a new valve cover. And it came with the lower covers too. I put all that on there. And while I was at it, I went ahead and painted the engine. And most notably, I replaced the points with a electronic uh, ignition system that you know is of course contained inside of this cap. Uh, this is the style that you would see on the same engine, just a newer model. It just eliminates the points. You have your high your uh, high energy coil right here. Okay, so you have a better spark which I had to change plugs, I had to change wires, uh, but that's fine because the truck runs 100% better once I did that. And it is quite a bit bigger, it's got a different type of rotor button and uh, as you can see here is the electronic module that makes it all work. Of course, the vacuum mine hooks up the same. I'm not going to take all this out, but uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory once I show you. Okay, before, like if you wanted to do this upgrade, you would have to find a distributor. You can find one out of an older uh, uh, Chevy vehicle, Chevy or GMC. Uh, I bought this one new off Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks. Uh, well worth it. And I have had no problems whatsoever with it. I've had it on there a while. You can tell it's dirty already. Um, okay. The hookup is very simple. It's marked. Uh, you see the two connectors that I put on the end of the wires? Okay. One is, if, you, if this will focus, there it goes. One side is a battery, that is your ignition wire that normally went to the positive side of the coil. And your tack, that of course goes to the, tack, the uh, tachometer. If you have one, I have a aftermarket one. Okay, the way to get this out and uh, make sure that you get it all put back in. Some people say put it in top dead center first. I did not do that. Uh, I don't see really the need to put it in top dead center just to change out the distributor. As long as you're not going to be moving the engine. I mean, there's no reason to move it. Okay, what you do is you will note where your rotor button is facing, okay? And you will make a mark. Well, not necessarily on the distributor itself because you're going to be pulling this out, okay? You want to make a mark on like, I could make a mark on this fuel line as far as that goes, you know, point it right straight at that, okay? Now, once you get that marked, and you have figured out exactly where it's going to go, that's where your new distributor will point when you get it put in. Okay, this bolt you can see this bolt that holds down this little clip that puts pressure on your distributor to hold it from moving okay you may want to you can see that I had marked it uh, I don't know if you can see that or not the marker you can see the marker right here and there's a marker there too but uh, that's where I had marked it to make sure that when I put it back, I was putting it back the same way, okay? Um, your plug wires, the way that I did it, you know, of course you pull the whole distributor. Once you take that bolt out, you can rock the distributor back and forth. Of course, pull your vacuum line off. It pulls off really easily, okay? Um, you pull your vacuum line off, rock your whole distributor, grab the 
not the rotor, but the body of the distributor like this, rock it back and forth and start pulling up, it will just pull out. Okay? Now, note that when you put your new one back in, when it goes down and touches the gear, it's a worm drive gear, and it will turn some. So you'll need to watch as you're pulling the old one out, watch which way it turns, and put the other one, turn the same amount the opposite direction. And then when you put it back in, look and make sure it's lined up. Okay. Now what I did with the plug wires is after I got the new distributor put in, I still had the old plug wires on the cap, on the old cap, okay? Now I had to put new plug wires on anyway, but just so I made sure everything was right and didn't have to go through and, you know, get the firing order and all that, you know, I mean, um, all the plug wires, as you can see, I always mark my plug wires. That way I know which one goes where. Okay. You'll take your old distributor cap and your new one. Make sure you know which way this gets positioned first. Like when you set it down on there. Uh, you will feel it. Okay. It dropped down into its spot right there. Okay. Now. Once it drops down in that spot, you can take your old distributor, make sure you have the same orientation, just hold it right beside of it, pull one wire at a time off, and move it straight over and put it in the same spot. It's best to maybe start with the wire, make a note of which wire it was. See, it was pointing a little past number six right here, okay? I would have made a note that it was pointing at that six. So you'll take the number six off first of your old distributor, and stick the wire on there. Even if it doesn't fit just right, just stick it on there. And go all the way around one wire at a time. Once you get them all on, you're good. Just make sure you tighten your screws back up. And one more. Seems like the other one only had two, uh, but anyway, that will have you. Uh, that will have your distributor changed out. Then you can change out your plugs, plug wires, all that. It's been a while since I've had this, and I am very, very pleased with it. Uh, I have not had to set the points in a long time because there are no points. That's uh, well, that's the uh, that's the whole point. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I know that was stupid. I also had the carburetor rebuilt. I did not do that myself. I might have been able to, but I didn't really want to fool with it. It's got some stuff in there that's pretty precise that you got to measure. I just got somebody else to do it. And that is about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it will help somebody out. Uh, and thank you for watching.